So my name is Tyler Hughes. I'm the owner and lead instructor for Max Orton Academy out of Southern California. From 2003 to 2013, I was a U.S. Marine, multiple deployments overseas, and I finished my career as a Marine Scout Sniper. Max Orton is a long-range training company. We specialize in law enforcement, military, and civilian application of long-range precision rifles. Our private training facility is located in Southern California, Victorville, California. The goal of Max Ordnant is to continue to push the limits on precision rifle shooting, but also to get the proper knowledge out there so that civilians, law enforcement are doing things the right way and constantly building on the skills to be better marksmen. I've been doing long distance shooting for over a decade, running Max Ordnant since 2013 at the end of my military career. When I first saw the Falcor action, um, I was just blown away by how smooth and finished product it looked like. Uh, I just had this idea in my mind that it was going to be rough and not ready, but it looked like a finished product the moment I got my hands on it. And then feeling it and how smooth it was and the attention to detail, everything looked like it was ready to be thrown in a box and pick it up and take it out. I mean, blown away. Going to the range the first time, what I did like about it was little nuances that you'll find throughout the industry, such as applying pressure to the magazine or the bolt being sticky or um, you know, getting a little bit of bite as you push the bolt forward and not being able to be smooth when you cycle around. Uh, none of these negative features were present with the action. So that was my most memorable time with the Falcor action is all of these nuances not being present. The chassis has definitely got a lot of thought behind it. It's got some innovation. They have a lightweight version. They have a more tactical version. Uh, the possibilities for accessories are endless. And then some of their design, it's not just functional, but it's also cosmetically pleasing. So that's something that's very difficult to do in this industry is get something that not only performs to the standard that you want, but something that looks good. And I think the guys hit the nail on the head, knocked it out of the park. When we first got out here, some of the things that needed to be changed, I wasn't aware of at the time. Um, it was a, let's go out, let's put this thing to the test and, and see what we can learn. And it was a prototype. And the first thing I wanted to check, which is a big problem, common problem inside the uh, bolt action community is the bolt stop. So we put some pressure behind it and we were able to make it fail. And then we go back make some adjustments and come out with a design that is damn near bulletproof. So that was one aspect of it. Some other aspects were making the ability to set your rifle up a little bit easier for the shooter. Um, there wasn't a lot wrong with the action to begin with. There was just small tweaks here or there that would provide the shooter an easier avenue to get to the range and go. For the chassis, there was a few areas that you wanted to improve. Um, the magazine release needed a tad bit of tweaking, as well as the trigger guard needed a little bit of modification, a hole drilled through the bottom so that you could reach the uh, trigger adjustment, and then just little things. Nothing major, but um, you know we talk about in today's world being able to add or subtract weight or change the balance point, so adding different features to the rifle that would give you that ability. Uh, but outside of that, the chassis came pretty much uh, battle ready. The new action over the old one is far superior in my mind, just in terms of reliability, because I applied not only the same amount of force to that bolt stop, but three or four times in duration, and it held up. It has not failed yet. I'm still trying to break it. so. Um, as far as the bolt action is concerned, I mean, you've got, again, little details that will help the shooter and make their life easier, but as far as reliability, I have 100% confidence this thing is good. The changes that Falcor made are 100% approved by me and any other shooter you ask. They took a lot of information, information I gave, information from others inside the industry, and they applied everything that they learned in terms of what's needed, what's wanted to make an overall better product. I can't wait to get to the next match and run a Falcor defense. 
get my hands on it and just start you know running that action the way that it's meant to be i put a lot of beat time on this thing here at the range uh, first time second time now we're out here for a third time and it's just constant constant proofing everything out and it's going to be a good time when these things get out into the wild and they're out at the range for the rest of the year i know that we're looking at continuing our training courses and these rifles will absolutely be a part of our training facility making sure that students who don't have a rifle or they need a loaner or we have law enforcement guys all the time SWAT snipers where their rifles will fail they'll go down different things here or there to be able to pull these rifles out and loan them or let shooters get their hands on them I think it's going to be a huge benefit so we'll definitely have three or four of these rifles on standby. The rifle as a whole, what I love about it is that I have that feeling of this thing is going to take everything that I can throw at it. It has modularity to add Picatinny rails, add weights, change the balance point. I can do multiple things with this entire rifle setup that I might not be able to have the capability of doing with any other setup in terms of does my action work, is my bolt stock going to fail, can I add weight? Can I add a night vision rail? Can I add a laser? You know, different strokes for different folks is what we say. And um, it, when you're dealing with competition or tactical, military, law enforcement, or just the everyday shooter, we all have something a little bit different that we want or desire. And I think this platform gives you a little bit of everything that tailors it towards what you want.